morning you guys happy monday welcome back to another vlog i just made myself some greens this morning because honestly i just needed to get something in my stomach besides coffee because i don't have any coffee so i'm not tempted to make it but i think i've mentioned this in the last um few videos but anytime i have coffee on an empty stomach it just doesn't sit well with me and i feel like i just crash right away around like 12 or 1-ish in the afternoon um, if I have coffee in the morning. So we're gonna try our best to not have it. I just love the ritual of making coffee. That's like the bummer. So if you have a cold brew that you really like that doesn't cause the crash, let me know because I feel like I never used to get a caffeine crash in the middle of the day and lately I have been. So anyways, that's beside the point. So I decided to have some greens this morning just, you know, start off the day right. I try to be consistent with this, but I'm not really, um, to be completely honest. So these are the greens that I have. It's just the Amazing Grass Greens Blend and the Sweet Berry Flavor. You can get them at Whole Foods, Target, any health food store. Um, so yeah, I don't drink the Athletic Greens. I know they're like $75, so it's very expensive. If you guys have tried Athletic Greens before and it's worth that big of a splurge let me know because i just i can't get myself to spend 80 dollars on green spotter like what is it gonna do make me look like freaking snatched or make me look like i'm blake lively or something because that's expensive like to me if whole food sells it it's good for you it's got to be right so i trust this green spotter it tastes good and i feel like when i consistently have it it definitely makes a difference in like my digestion and my skin. I feel like my skin looks a lot more glowy when I'm actually like drinking my green powder. But anyways, um, that's what I'm up to right now. I'm gonna probably plan out my day for a little bit right now, do some journaling. I've been into my journaling again. I've been really trying to just prioritize the littler habits again that truly do make a big difference in my day, like the small things make a big difference so I'm gonna journal do some gratitude also kind of plan out my day and then we're going to yoga this morning yoga sculpt we'll get to it a little sweaty workout starting off the Monday on the right foot before I head over to yoga sculpt I wanted to show you guys my workout set it's from Set Active, and I love all their workout sets. They're so comfortable. I don't remember exactly what material this one is, um, but my favorite uh, Set Active wear is like the sport body material and then the Sculpt Flex. I think this is called Lux Form. I could be wrong, but it's more of a softer um, type material, and I love the color. It's like a gray slash beige. It's super cute. I just got my new Brooklyn in duvet in the mail. I have, obviously you guys can tell, like this soft gray color right now, which I really like. So I'm going to keep this for my sheets and then I'm going to switch out the duvet cover and make it white because I feel like 
my bedroom does need that kind of a white spark to it. So I'm going to switch it out because I keep talking about in my videos how neutral my bedroom is and I want it to have more of like a pop of color but these last couple weeks I've been like going to home goods and finding like cute throw pillows and everything but nothing matches well with the soft gray duvet so I'm like I'm just gonna go back to the all white look um with my comforter so I'm gonna throw this in the wash right now this is just what it looks like obviously so I'm gonna toss this in the wash and then also undo my sheets and wash those as well because I have a few errands that I'm gonna run um and then by the time I finish up my sheets should be all good to go pretty much I just need to run to Target I need to pick up new towels and then I need to do a return at Lululemon because I got these pants that I had my eye on for the longest time and I was so excited when they were finally back in stock they are the soft stream high-rise pants so I got them in this black color but they fit very very weird and I love the material of them and everything, but they were so expensive. So I'm like, if I don't love them, I'm going to return them. So I decided that these are going to be a return. Also, they're kind of like, although they are black, they kind of look dark gray. And I don't love the drawstring that it has. No. They're just not my favorite. And I feel like they aren't actually high rise. It was definitely giving me like camel toe vibes. And then I got these pair of shorts, which are the Find Your Pace High Rise Shorts. And these are also what I'm going to return. I feel like they honestly just feel very cheap. Um, it literally feels like a pair of shorts that I could get off of Amazon. And I ordered a couple athletic shorts from Amazon that I absolutely love. And they just feel way better quality than these do. And again, these were like constantly sold out. And everybody was raving about them. But when I put them on, I wasn't that impressed with how they fit so I'm gonna return those and yeah that's everything that I have to do basically um for my errand so I'm gonna take care of all that do the laundry and then we'll head on out That turned out to be a complete fail. There was nothing at Home Goods or Target, but I actually went to two different Targets and both of them didn't have what I was looking for. So we're resulting to Amazon for my towels. I'm gonna order these like waffle knit material towels because I just want more matching towels. The towels I currently have are all unmatched and they're getting really worn out like they're all bleached from my skincare so I'm gonna order these white ones let me show you I feel like they would just look cuter anyways not that it really matters but um, they're just these white towels again I can like link them on my Amazon store for you guys so I'm gonna get those and then I ended up googling like large light pink throw pillows and I found these ones on sale at Bath and Body Works or not Bath and Body Works Bed Bath and Beyond and they look like they'll be the perfect type of pink that I'm looking for because everywhere it was either too light of a pink like way too light or either too corally and orangey of a pink so this looks pretty identical to what I want now I guess I don't really have to take care of decorating my room or anything today so I'm gonna head back home and just put like my sheets and everything back on my bed and tie
tidy up a little bit and then also I need to get some work done and then we'll prep a little bit for the week and stuff. We have some fun PR to unbox. I just stopped down in my mail room and have these packages that I had no idea were coming. So I'm very excited. The first one is from Drunk Elephant. We all know I'm their biggest fan. Love their skincare. And they never fail with the best PR. So. Okay, we're just not gonna bother. But you guys can see what comes in the package. So there's a cleanser. I love bringing this Drunk Elephant cleanser when I travel. Um, the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Sunscreen, which I've never tried their sunscreen, so that'll be great. And then the C Firma Fresh Day Serum, which I've been putting everybody on. This is one of my favorite serums. I actually made a TikTok um, about it because it just, it's incredible. It makes your makeup look extra glowy and extra bright. And I truly cannot live without it. Anytime I wear makeup, I always love to put it under my moisturizer. It's so freaking good. And then, oh my gosh, Cuddly sent over a bunch of skincare as well. Clearly everybody knows I love my skincare, so I'll have to show you guys. Oh my gosh. This is also a really great brand. I find all their products to be so, so, so gentle on my skin. And I have very sensitive skin too, so I like to make sure that anything I'm putting on my skin is incredibly gentle. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I've heard so many people talk about this and I was about to buy it at Sephora a couple weeks ago. Um, it's the Beauty Elixir Soothing Glowing Complexion Spray. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. I think you just spray it on with or without makeup too. Um, and then, I don't know what this is. I think this is some sort of like acne gel. Premier Crew. And then they sent over this Vinergetic C Plus mask. I think I already actually have one of these and I freaking love it. So again, I'll probably gift this to my mom because she loves skincare just as much as I do. Um, and I literally still have like probably three fourths left of the bottle. So I'm gonna definitely give that to her, but it is such a great mask. I love it. It just makes my skin feel like so soothed and it has that minty sensation on my skin, which I love. Cause whenever a product has it, I'm like, it's working. It's doing something in there. And then this is the Vino Perfect radiant serum oh my god yeah i'm excited about this so pretty i love serums and anytime something says radiant or vitamin c on it i'm like sign me up that will be in the routine so that's everything they send over oh and then a cream love a good moisturizer their packaging is just gorgeous i love it so luxe it's amazing. So a huge thank you to both Drug Elephant and Caudalie for sending over some products. You all know I love my skincare and I love testing and trying out new products to share with you guys and just share my opinions on. I'm always here to talk skincare. Literally could talk about it for days and hours on end. Um, so tonight I think we'll have a little self-care night. My skin definitely needs some TLC. I'll use this face mask because I already have an open tube of it and I really, really like it. So we'll do this and then also definitely need to wash my hair. It's like day four of this hair. I've trained my hair to wash or to last longer in between washes. So now it's time to wash it up tonight and get all fresh. So I'll probably do that a bit later after I like make dinner and everything.
done now. I feel like I got my life situated. A little bit of meal prepping. And honestly, I might pop on a show. I always need to like have background noise, whether that's a podcast, music. My go-to background noise is podcast, country music, or Virgin River on Netflix, which is kind of hard because I have to like pay attention to it while also like editing or responding to emails. So it's not like the best background noise because it requires like my full attention, but New Girl also, that's another like go-to background noise. I just can't sit in silence. Like ever since I've lived alone, I realized how much I hate just dead silence. So I always have to have just like something, whether I'm getting ready or like before I go to bed, anything. So I'm just gonna get some work done for a little bit. Also, I had one of these Olipops that was in my fridge. These are my favorite. I like always need to have these on hand because they're so good. This is the root beer flavor. They have a tons of different flavors that I just love. I always have to have like some sort of beverage, whether it's an Olipop, Poppy, Water Drop, LaCroix Water, Alani New, anything. Like I just have to have a beverage, but I'm trying not to have caffeine in the middle of the day, especially when I don't need it. Like, I just love the taste of Celsius or Alani New, regardless whether it has caffeine or not. Um, but I just like can't drink them like they're water, and I literally used to do that. So it's breaking that habit, or that habit is broken, thank God. But I think not having cold brew on hand or like in my fridge. It's good for me, it's good, because I would have made coffee right now and I do not need it. Like, I feel like I have the perfect amount of energy and it's good because typically at this time I would be like crashing from my coffee. It'd be like my caffeine come down and I'm not having that today. So clearly the caffeine crashes are real. So we gotta figure something out with that. But anyways, um, time to get some work done. Gonna grind out some editing for a couple hours and then Probably like make dinner and stuff soon after.
did the face mask. It's in the middle of drying right now, so it looks a little crazy and splotchy, but I leave it on for 10 minutes. And I pretty much did my entire skincare routine, like in the shower, I used the Inky List Cleansing Balm and then the cleanser as well. You guys have probably seen it a million times in my vlogs at this point. That's like my go-to routine. And then I just used the Cuddly um, Instant Detox Mask tonight. And after putting on a mask, I don't usually use like serums or oils or anything. I'll just simply use a moisturizer. So this is the Youth of the People Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. So I'll just moisturize my face after I wash this off in about 10 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna get ready for bed and just like wind down for the night.